Hi everyone, welcome to Mrs Chung's ISO Inspo, which is short for Isolation Inspiration. And today's inspiration is going to be name art. Now who doesn't like a bit of name art? We usually do this at the beginning of every year when we move to a new class. Today's name art is going to be about symmetry. Now symmetry is where something is reflected. Okay, so our name reflection is going to look a little bit like a sunset when it is reflected in the water. Now you're not going to need many things at all. All you're going to need is a piece of paper, white preferably. You're going to need a lead pencil, a rubber, some colored textures, pencils if you don't have textures and crayons would be fine. And an iPad or a window with some sunlight. So it depends on what time of the day you're doing your art. Okay, so the first step of our name reflection is to fold our paper lengthwise. So corner to corner and creating a nice crisp crease and then folding it back out. Now we are going to do our name in bubble writing. Please do not get scared. I'm going to show you the easy way to do bubble writing. This is a secret of mine. Okay, here is one that I did a little bit earlier. So as you can see, if you come nice and close, I have written a name in lead pencil in just normal writing. Okay, and then I have used my pencil to trace around the outside to make my bubble writing. Now, later on, when I rub out, oops, it's a smudgy letter, a smudgy rubber, sorry. When I rub out those lines, you are left with bubble writing. Okay, very, very easy. Now, watch me as I complete the rest of my letters. I'm going to go around to make an I. I'm even going to go around the full stop. Now you can get creative with your eyes. You might want to make that into a star or a love heart or a smiley face emoji. It's up to you. There's my L. And now be aware that I have had lots of practice at bubble writing. Okay, 21 years now of practice, because that's how old Mrs. Chung is. Just joking, I'm not that old. Rubbing out the lines from my letters. And now I am left with my bubble writing. Now, of course, you can get a little bit creative with your bubble writing. It doesn't have to be like mine. I was using curved lines then. But if you want to mix it up a little bit, make it more your own, you can use straight angular lines or you could even use a mixture of curvy and straight lines. So I'm just going to show you what I mean. So here I've got three T's and three S's. They're just some random letter letters. So I'm going to show you what curved lines around your letters will look like. I don't recommend that you do um, tech stuff straight away. It's probably better for you to do lightly in pencil. And here is a curved S. Oops, it's a bit wonky because my table is on a join. This is what straight letters would look like, okay? So if I have some straight lines, around my T or even some straight edges around my S or you could have a mixture of both which is a bit of straight, a little bit of curved, depends what you're more comfortable with or what overall look you are trying to achieve. This one looks a little bit more like graffiti or street art. So as you can see, there's some different effects. And then here are some different effects that I've used. I've done some shadows, I've done some stars, I've done 
some that look like splatter. Okay, so that's just getting a little bit more creative. So it depends on how confident you are with your bubble writing. Okay, so next we are going to create the symmetry with our name. So just remember that with symmetry, what is on one side is reflected on the other side. Okay, so if I had a curve, the curve reflection on the other side would be like this. So we have many symmetrical shapes that we learn about in maths. So this is just a little bit trickier. Now I have found that the best way, of course, is not to do this by freehand, but just to cheat a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of tracing. Now, if you're doing this in the day, I find that a window works perfectly well. So if I was to place this up against the window after I've traced it with black texture, it's gonna be really easy for me to see. Another thing you can do is to turn your iPad on and lean up against your iPad. Um, the whiter and the brighter your screen, the better. You would get your text and very carefully, you would trace around the letter. So there you can see that I've already done the L, okay? If you continue that for the whole name, then you'll end up with one that looks like this. Ta-da! That looks pretty awesome. Now to neaten it up a little bit, I went over mine a few times, just really steadily with a black texture so you can make it a little bit thicker. Um, if you're feeling adventurous, you might like to add some sort of shadow or some sort of pattern on the outside. Now, when it comes to decorating, here's one that I did a long time ago. This one's so old. It's got a couple of scribbles. It's got a few food stains on it. This one's really hard, but today I was feeling inspired by my favorite ice cream. That's my favorite food. So today I was thinking that we could decorate it to look like ice cream. If you don't like ice cream, well, we're never going to be best friends, but you can also create a similar effect that looks like dripping paint. So this is how I would do that. I would fold my name back in half and I'm going to do two wavy lines. I'm going to start down here, here's my wavy line and we can go a little bit up and down. It doesn't have to be perfect because we want it to look like, a little bit like topping, dripping down, okay? Now my next line is gonna be up a little bit higher. Now, of course, we want this reflected. So again, we are going to turn our name over. We are going to go over to the window or again, use our iPad. Lean up there and we again are going to trace, whoops, trace over our lines. So that that is then reflected the same way. Now, when it's all finished, it's going to look like this. Now, this one doesn't say Layla. This one says Kaya. Most of you know that is Mrs. Chung's daughter's name. So I've made a sign for her. She might like to use it on her door. You might like to do the same just so that people know that your room belongs to you and that it is private. Um, and when it is reflected, it will look like this. Now, if you don't want yours to look like ice cream, that's fine. Just make it three different colors so it looks like different colored paint just dripping, um, a little bit like street art. But I don't want yours to look like mine, okay? I want yours to be 
uniquely yours, okay? You can be inspired by artworks that you see, you can replicate them, but always put your own personal spin on them so it's individual to you, okay? Thank you for joining me today and please send your pics of your finished reflection names to your teachers. See you next time. Thank you.